Knowing how to use an asthma inhaler and a spacer correctly will help reduce your child's asthma. It's not too complicated, but there are a few things you should know. A spacer, when used correctly, will help deposit the medication directly into the lungs instead of the back of the throat. A young child will need a spacer with a mask attached as they are not able to coordinate their breathing for a regular spacer. As a child matures, they are able to switch to a spacer without a mask because they are able to generate a nice tight seal around the mouthpiece between their lips. Your healthcare provider will help you decide the right type of spacer for your child. First, put the spacer device together following the instructions that come with it. Some spacers will come already assembled. It's always important to know how many doses are in your meter dose inhaler, or inhaler as some people like to call it. Check the dose counter to see how many doses are remaining. For many inhalers, the spray is just the way to deliver the medication. You will be able to continue to spray even after all the medication doses have been delivered. That's why it's important to keep track of all the doses on the back of your inhaler. If there is no dose counter on your inhaler, you'll need a system to help you track your doses, counting down each time you use a dose of the medication. Take the cap off the inhaler. Make sure that the mouthpiece is clean. While holding the inhaler upright, place your thumb on the bottom of the inhaler and your first finger on the top. Then shake the inhaler several times up and down. If the inhaler is new or has not been used for a few days, a few puffs should be released or primed into the air. Just follow the instructions that come with the inhaler. Each inhaler is different and it is very important that you read the instructions that come with your inhaler to know the specific details of your child's inhaler. If you lose these instructions, ask your pharmacist for information. It's common to have two types of inhalers for your child's asthma. So it's very important to know when to give the right dose at the right time. A daily inhaler for control and a quick reliever only as needed use when your child is sick or may be prescribed before exercise. Insert the mouthpiece of the inhaler into the spacer. It should fit easily and securely. Encourage your child to take a deep breath and breathe out away from the spacer and the inhaler. When using the spacer with the mask, Place the mask over your child's mouth and nose, ensuring a good seal with the skin around the mouth. Many spacers will have an indicator that will show you when you have a good seal, as it will move each time your child breathes. Press down once on the inhaler. This releases one puff into the spacer. Hold the mask in place and encourage your child to take five deep and slow breaths in and out. It is important not to rush this step. For children using a spacer without the mask, the steps are almost the same. For this device, shake the inhaler. Have your child take a deep breath and breathe out and follow these instructions. Put the mouthpiece of the spacer in your mouth, making a good seal with your lips. Make sure your tongue is not blocking the spacer opening. Press the inhaler canister down once, and then breathe in slowly and deeply through the mouthpiece of the spacer. If you hear a whistling sound, you are breathing in too quickly. Try slowing down your breathing, Hold your breath for as long as it is comfortable. You should aim for about 10 seconds. Remove the spacer from your mouth. If a second puff is prescribed, you should shake the device and repeat the steps. Pumping two puffs into the spacer at one time will not be giving the correct dose. If you are prescribed a daily medication, be sure you rinse your mouth or brush your teeth afterwards. It is important to keep your spacer clean, so follow the instructions that come with it. In most cases, gently move the parts back and forth in warm water using a mild soap. Rinse the parts well in clean water. Do not dry inside the spacer with a towel, as it will cause static. Instead, let the parts air dry, leaving them out overnight. It's also important to keep your inhaler in good working order, so be sure to follow the instructions that came with it. Understanding the correct way to deliver your child's asthma medications will keep your child's asthma under good control. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to call your healthcare provider.